Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, make sure to hit the subscribe button. My name is Mackenzie and today I'm going to be doing another week in my life of vlog. You guys seem to really be liking the week in my life. So I have tried to switch it up a bit and share single days in the life, unedited, um, a few days in my life and you guys still ask for the hour long week in my life. So I figured, you know, might as well give you guys what you want this week. It is Sunday, July 5th and it's already noon. I'm gonna run through like what I typically do every Sunday. So I woke up at nine o'clock this morning and the first thing I did was get up my weekly wrap up. These are blog posts that go up to my blog stylebymckens.com every single Sunday. I share my outfits of the week, what I've been up to, I link a vlog, I link all of the blog posts that were published that week, links to everything I was wearing, etc. So I got that up and then I published a YouTube video. Today I shared an outfits of the week, just a really simple vlog of me sharing seven different outfits that I wore this previous week. So I got that YouTube video up. The next thing that I do is go to my Instagram stories and I will share all of the outfits of the week up there and I will link every single outfit. That way you guys can shop through my affiliate links and all that jazz. So I got those Instagram stories up. The next thing I did was pin this week's blog post to my Pinterest board. I like to get traction on that and you guys really seem to like going to my Style by McKen's board and finding some outfit inspo. Then I went ahead and uploaded a TikTok. I upload a TikTok every single Sunday with my outfits of the week. They tend to be some of my most popular TikToks. Um, so I did that, got that video up. It hasn't had a lot of views yet, but it's still early. And then I got ready for the day. I actually had to take a couple of campaign photos for Neutrogena while I was getting ready this morning. So my sister came into my room and we just took them portrait style on my iPhone of me getting ready using some of their new products that I picked up last in last week's vlog. So I did that and now here I am. I am ready. I have already had a super productive day it feels like because typically that takes me well into the afternoon and it's only noon and I just got all that done so it is noon it's time to eat now I'm headed downstairs I'm going to be trying to show you guys a little bit more of what I eat during the days I'm not a healthy eater by any means but you guys want to see what I eat in a day um, so I'm gonna try to be a little bit better about it this week and show you guys um, I don't claim to be a healthy eater I love I eat ice cream like all the time gummy bears every single day um but i don't know you guys want to see it so i'll try to show a little bit more of it this week so honestly my lunch is different every day and usually i just eat leftovers like whatever is in the fridge to eat up um obviously what's left over so today um i have some flank steak and then two shrimp just a couple pieces of flank steak shrimp those were like two different meals we had we had shrimp tacos one night and flank steak fajitas another i just put them all on this plate and i melted some cheese on top and then i have some fresh mango avocado crema and some fresh salsa on top and honestly i'm just gonna eat this like with a fork both of these meals we had like in a shell and it was more of like a taco style but for the sake of just heating it up as leftovers i figured that worked um and i'm just gonna sit outside on our deck and enjoy all right guys it is 1 30 and i'm upstairs now i'm in our guest room um kind of just rearranging realizing i have so many clothes right now and just a lot of like random stuff to film um i just had a huge shein order come and i filmed like a little tiktok with it so i've been doing that for about half an hour but this is what this room looks like right now there's boxes everywhere this is a box of stuff i've already done stuff with and i just don't have hanger space for so basically this entire week i need to wear stuff off this rack and get stuff off of it that way i have free hangers to hang the rest of that stuff up this is for a shein summer haul and i need to film this video some point this week this is the box of clothes that just came it's like 40 plus items this is for like a Shein campaign I do each month that you make like four separate videos and I'm gonna do like a bunch of back to school styling with that stuff in this box I have a boohoo order and then in this box I have some Zaffle stuff and then up here I have some accessories that came that I need to shoot photos with this week so lots and lots of clothes I also have a discount glasses order um, that came earlier this week there's five pairs of sunglasses and I'm going to be doing a giveaway with them starting tomorrow so on my agenda today is to actually take pictures for that giveaway I want it to go up tomorrow so I'm going to take one picture with one of the pairs of sunglasses on probably this pair just like a quick little mirror picture like mirror selfie and then I will lay all five pairs of sunglasses out um that way you guys can see all five pairs that you're gonna win the giveaway will be closing the day that you guys are watching this on Sunday it will be closing at midnight so I'll show you guys what you 
would win if you were to you know enter this giveaway so the first thing you're gonna win is this pair of sunglasses right here really fun pair of tortoise ones this pair of black oversized sunnies I know that these are like really big and trendy right now so you're gonna win those you're also going to win these I have these in three colors they are some of my faves just like kind of like the cloud goggles really fun black sunglasses um and then there's two other pairs hold on I have to take them out this black pair right here, I decided to get a lot of black because I know that that's like everyone's favorite kind of sunglasses. These ones have like a cool little gold rim along the top and are a little more of like a classic style. And then the last pair is really fun, more out there. I typically always put my discount glasses giveaway with this pair right here just because I think they're really cool. Um, you can see my camera sitting on the windowsill. They're light blue and then they kind of reflect like red in some lights. So you guys, if you want to win all five pairs of those sunglasses for yourself, all you have to do is follow me on Instagram at stylebutmckens. I'll leave it here on the screen and I'll leave a link to the giveaway below. But anyways, I wanted to update you guys. I'm actually going to film a TikTok with the sunglasses. Um, I'm going to do this because, and I'm going to like hopefully drive traction to the Instagram post. I want to just film it today and then I'll upload it tomorrow when the giveaway goes live. And either TikToks for me like usually flop, they get like a thousand views or some of them get like 25,000 views. So I figured it's worth a try. Like if there is a chance that 25, 30,000 people see it, then it's like so worth the few minutes it's gonna take to make. So I'm gonna set up my phone and I'm going to like try each pair of sunglasses on, kind of like I just did for you, but in TikTok form and yeah. Alrighty, giveaway picture is ready to go. I always like to have the words giveaway directly on the picture I post because I find that it gets more traction. So I'll upload this around noon tomorrow when I tend to get the best engagement in the meantime, I am going to be updating my shop tab. I know I did this last week, but I just got a bunch of new items, like I said, from Shein, and I posted like a TikTok where I like showed some of the items and said find direct links on my blog. So now I need to like go add the direct links. Um, so I'm gonna get working on that. It's about 2:30 and Hopefully this will only take me like half So time. recently I have been getting so many requests to sit down and share my top swimsuits in my collection. Between Madison, my twin sister, and I, we probably have 450 bathing suits sitting in this house. We have so many from all of the hauls I've been doing, previous swimsuits I owned, um, and just so much PR so I narrowed down the top 20 in my collection I'm about to sit down and film a video for it I literally sit in this spot right in front of my window um, I am hoping that the kids across the street are not super loud this should be a pretty quick video as far as filming goes um, for the sit down part but I am going to go ahead and do a try on portion for this as well so we'll see how fast it goes I'm hoping the light stays in a the right spot but yeah alrighty just finished up filming the sit down portion for this video but my camera is on low battery so I am going to plug her in and while I do that I am going to do math homework my summer class for the summer I guess my summer the class I'm taking this summer is um statistics elements of statistics and I need to do like a weekly quiz usually takes me about 30 ish minutes so hopefully by the time I am finished with that assignment it will be time to film this try on hopefully my camera will have it right, guys don't know the last time I checked in um filmed the try on portion for the bikini video and finished up my math homework then I posted my Instagram picture for the day we just ate dinner we had hot dogs buffalo mac and cheese and salad and now i am upstairs in my bedroom it is 7 30 and i am headed to connor's around 8 39 ish i'm not really sure yet um just somewhere between that time i decided that before i go i'm going to edit tomorrow's youtube video honestly i've had this video filmed for like two weeks and i haven't gotten around to editing it which is lazy on my part so i'm about to edit um part four to my Shein bikini haul just pulled up iMovie super ready to do this get this not over with but editing videos is definitely like my least favorite part of filming um just because it's really tedious so i'm gonna do this this should take me probably like the whole hour Hour. honestly it's kind of a good thing that Connor told me to come a little bit later because I've been procrastinating doing this good morning guys it is Monday it is 10 15 and I don't think I ended off the vlog yesterday I did end up finishing editing that video right before I went to Connor's um, and then I just hung out with him for a little bit we watched the movie after I think it was called on Netflix and it was okay 
um, nothing special like I wouldn't watch it again but I got home late and I slept in until like 9 15 ish lately I've been sleeping really poorly and I'm someone who like always gets nine hours of sleep like I am really specific about how much sleep I get um, I'm someone who like knows that I need to be fully well rested in order to like be productive with my days and lately I've just been tossing and turning all night like waking up a hundred different times um, and last night I think I went to bed at like 1 30 and I woke up at 9 15 I didn't wake up once that's like a new record for me um so I let my body sleep and then I woke up and I just took a shower I needed to wash my hair so I decided not to like blow dry it or put on any makeup yet because my hair was like looking really dry and dead and I just got it cut like a month ago and I think it's because I've been using so much heat on it I've been blow drying my hair to get practice with the Revlon thing but like I can't do it perfectly yet so I have to end up using heat on my hair afterwards too so I was like you know what I'm just gonna let my hair air dry I'm in like a really chill outfit right now like literally just a skirt and a t-shirt because I don't know I'm gonna put makeup on later there is a chance I'm gonna end up filming a video um, later this afternoon for boohoo but I'm not 100% sure yet and Connor and I are going to dinner tonight and I don't know I kind of wanted to like get ready like before and make me feel like I'm getting ready for the event not for the day so I'm gonna wait and I'm gonna curl my hair later like put some makeup on pick out a dress like you know like look nice so um, I figured you know the best way to feel really good later is to not feel so good now like I don't feel bad right now but you know what I'm talking about like when you just are bumming it and then you like put on this makeup and like a pretty outfit and you're like oh my god look at her that's what I'm gonna do so anyways okay I have to head downstairs because while yes I edited this video I still have to do all the links um I literally haven't done anything for today's post usually I at least have the pictures edited all that jazz but I don't have anything done for this so it's going to be a long work day I need to send some follow-up emails send some brand pitches I have a draft due for Neutrogena and at noon I want to go ahead and post the giveaway so time to get rolling let's head downstairs okay it is 207 now and I have finally finished up this post this took me so much longer than I expected but I also took a break at noon to eat lunch and then I took a break at like 12 30 to post my Instagram photo for the day which was that giveaway because I wanted to post it a little bit earlier um, but I just got finished with this post I am sharing of course the haul that went up today which is 30 Shein bikinis this is what I was editing yesterday I talk a little bit about the sizing and then I started off with the one pieces today these posts look really long, but it's not a lot of actual type. It's just that the pictures are like single pictures. Uh, I find that these posts are a little bit easier to read on the phone, which is where most of my viewers um, read my blog posts. But anyways, so I'm sharing all of the one pieces, and then I go into some of the bikinis. I had low-waisted suits, high-waisted suits, high-cut, whatever you guys wanted to see, I tried to include in this post. So there were 30 total, 15 one pieces, 15 bikinis. And then if you scroll all the way to the end, um, I ended up sharing my 15% off code, which is Q4McKenz15. You guys can always find my coupon codes via the shop tab down below. So I did that, and now my haul is actually premiering live right now. I like to make my bikini hauls premiere rather than just posting them because, I don't know, I think it's more fun and the engagement tends to be a lot better on videos that I do that for. So yeah, it is 2.15. My computer is on 10%, so I'm about to plug it in, and I am headed upstairs to go get ready. I was planning on getting ready a little bit later, but I just realized that I didn't take all three of the Neutrogena pictures yesterday. I only have one of them, and I need all three um, to be submitted for a draft later today. So I'm going to head upstairs, do my makeup, do my hair, and get working on that post. All right, it's four o'clock now. I am ready. My hair is done and I ended up taking those photos for the Neutrogena campaign. I had about half of the work done and needed to do the other half. And then I just sat down, edited those photos and submitted all of those drafts for review. These three posts and three stories will be going up um, July 26th through August 8th. So campaigns tend to work pretty far out in advance. So I just got all that stuff done. It is four o'clock now. I honestly Honestly, I'm not sure what to do. Um, I feel like I really need to film a boohoo video 
except I'm not 100% sure how long it's gonna take me. So I wasn't really sure what to do five minutes ago because I was like, I don't know when Connor and I are gonna go to dinner and it's 4.15 right now. And then right as I finished this, he texted me and was like, can I take a rain check for dinner? I don't feel good. So I um, guess that's not happening tonight. Um, so now I have time to do what um, I should do, but didn't wanna do because I was hoping I would be going to dinner but it's okay um i need to get this boohoo stuff and start filming with it i am not sure if i'm just gonna do a regular haul or if i'm gonna film 10 loungewear outfits i'm gonna like start pulling it all out and see what's in here like what outfits i can come up with what other like random pieces i would have to find um, I guess I, this is what I'm going to be wearing for the rest of the day. I'm obviously not going to end up changing now. I was going to change into like a dress to go eat, but um, I'm just going to stay in this for the rest of the day. But I've got lots of cute things in here. I just need to figure out like what to pair them with. I shot four outfits with these items earlier last week with my sister. So I have like some outfit ideas. I just need to like come up with the rest of them basically for this post so I think that's what I'm gonna end up doing because you guys seem to really like outfit idea posts so I've got one two this is an outfit in itself three I've got more stuff than I thought I did I wore this with a white top for the pictures four um I could definitely wear these together five six yeah, I'm going to have to go into my closet and pull a few miscellaneous pieces out, come up with some accessories. I think I'm going to talk through these outfits rather than doing a voiceover just because I usually find that that's a little bit more helpful. It's more relaxed. It's chill, but I don't know. We'll see. Alrighty, fellas, it is 10 o'clock. I have been MIA from vlogging. I was in a little bit of a funk for the last few hours, but I've gotten myself out of it. Um, I ended up filming the video for Boohoo, which was great. That's going to go up on Wednesday, so... Um, I got that done. I ate dinner with my parents and then I hopped on my 7 o'clock Zoom call that I have every week with a bunch of other smaller YouTubers and we talked a lot about media kits tonight and just about reaching out to other brands and then after that call I hopped on a call with a friend Lore. She has a YouTube channel too and we talked a bunch about media kits and just a bunch of other YouTube stuff. We hopped on that at like 8.30 and it's 10 o'clock now so I was not expecting to talk for that long but all of a sudden it's 10 o'clock at night and I am ready to take a shower and go to bed um I'm tired man and I got a full day ahead of me tomorrow Madison and I are going to try to take some pictures and I want to write Wednesday's blog post edit some videos so yeah I'll catch you guys tomorrow. alrighty good morning guys it is Tuesday morning it's 10 a.m and I'm in bed it's very rare that I start off a vlog in bed um but I don't know I'm just I've been up for like an hour and I'm just in the mood to like lay in bed and I'm just not ready to get ready I guess. It's really cloudy out and there is a chance of thunder this afternoon. Madison and I were planning on taking pictures but I'm kind of just like waiting it out. Like I'm just gonna kind of not get ready for a few hours because I don't want to like put lashes on and curl my hair and all that stuff if we're not going to end up taking pictures. So I'm just going to give it a few hours, see what the weather decides to do before I like get ready for a photo shoot, I guess. So I'm going to start tackling some things. Um, it's Tuesday and since I'm not daily uploading, I kind of like usually take it easier, I guess, on Tuesdays and Thursdays, but I kind of want to leave tomorrow open to maybe make plans. Um, with Connor since we didn't get to hang out yesterday so I've made a to-do list of things I need to do in the next or like today I need to post my swimsuit stories and promote yesterday's blog post because I totally forgot to do that yesterday I have to finish up something for a bed bath and beyond collab order express clothes respond to comments edit a couple of videos, figure out something for my math class, and plan out looks for my next few posts. Like, just like a bunch of like random stuff here and there. I also have a to-do list like for this week, including I wanna make a whole new media kit. I have to take some pictures, film a video, but like I can't do any filming. Like typically on a Tuesday, um, I would, since I'm not uploading content, typically I would film content, but it's so dark in my room since it's so cloudy out that I can't really do that today unless the weather like turns itself around. So when it, it's like when I can't take advantage of 
shooting content of filming content i like to like get as much done as far as like the other stuff goes like inventory emails editing all that jazz so that's what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna sit in bed for a little bit and do it Alrighty, so, peeps it's 12 30 now and i sifted through emails for a long time i did some linkedin things i posted to my stories um, regarding my she and swimsuits that I should have done yesterday and I also went ahead and did my math homework for the week and a couple of other random things looked through Express placed a couple orders and here I am dressed and ready for the day Madison's gonna be in today's portion of my outfit of the day I'm doing like an outfits of the week this week and we're wearing the same skirt today so this is just what I'm wearing I'm not gonna go through like everything just because there is gonna be a separate video on it but I am headed downstairs I need to eat some lunch and then I have to run a couple errands which is why I decided to get ready for the day so we'll talk about that soon Madison's getting ready to go to lunch without me, but here's a sneak peek of her outfit, guys. Alrighty, everyone, for lunch today, I'm having leftovers from dinner. I don't think I showed dinner yesterday. I'm having ranch chicken and rice. Okay, so friends, I'm just moving so slow today. Um, I, don't, I don't know what's wrong with me, but anyways, I'm in the car now. I am about to head to Bed Bath & Beyond. I just finished up a collaboration with them and you probably saw this comforter on my bed. It's light pink. It's really, really cute. But my roommate for next year, Griffith, said that she wasn't able to get the same one and we decided to switch this one for a white comforter. So I have to go into the store to return this and I'm hoping while I'm in the store I can place the order for the new one. And then I might stop at Walmart. I have a collaboration with Desenio coming up and they are for the prints like hanging in my room and I need to grab picture frames for them. I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna go to Walmart yet. We're gonna kind of see what time it is like when I'm done with this. I hate doing this kind of like errand stuff but I have to do it because I only have a few more days before it's like too late to return it. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna roll out. I'm in my dad's car, so yeah. Okay, peeps, I am ready to go return. Guys, usually I have the worst social anxiety when it comes to like making returns and exchanges. I know that sounds kind of silly, but something about it just like makes me really antsy. I don't like to do it. And the lady who just checked me out, I had a mask on. She said, aren't you the girl that used to work at blah, 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 which was where I interned last summer? And I was like, how would she recognize me like i'm not in my town at all i had a mask on and she knew it was exactly me i'm the only employee that's ever worked there i was like Ugh. so she was so nice so helpful i was able to order the new comforter the new one is white and i actually like the white a lot better um just because it goes with a lot more and the shade of pink was not my favorite and griffith obviously couldn't get the matching one so i just placed that order while i was in there i just exchanged it and i had to pay a ten dollar difference which is fine i'm realizing now it's only a 145 like that was super close really easy so i am going to head to the walmart that's about five ten minutes away from here and check out what their frame selection is okay just got to walmart i have literally never seen it so packed i was honestly contemplating not even coming in because I'm scared of Corona, but I figured I'm already here. So they had seven eight and a half by 11s, and then they had seven five by sevens, and that's how many I needed for those. But I need six 12 by 16s, and then two 19 by 27s, and they don't have either of those sizes. So I'm just going to have to check at a different Walmart another time. But I'm happy to have these. So I'm going to go check out. Framing stuff is really annoying. And honestly, I would get nicer frames. Except they're not going to... They're just hanging on the wall. Like, they're not getting wear and tear. They're Honestly, they're only getting dusty. But they actually have a lot of cute stuff in Walmart right now. Like, room decor kind of things. But, anyways, I'm getting out of here because there's a lot of people here. It is 3.45 now and I just wrapped up planning some outfits. Honestly, I was not planning on taking any pictures today, but the sun decided to come out and Madison and I really need to shoot because um, not 
this week but next Saturday I am going to visit one of my blog friends Molly she lives in South Carolina and I'm going from Saturday night until Thursday and my sister will be gone that Sunday through Sunday um, it's Colton and her boyfriend's birthday and so she's going to the beach for a week so I'm not gonna have her for a whole week and I will be traveling so we need to like kind of speed up our shooting process and make sure that we are ahead of the game our family is also planning on going to the beach the first week of August, so we're going to be gone that week too, and we don't like to necessarily work or like be shooting while we're away, obviously, and I could have my mom or dad help me take pictures, but we're just trying to get ahead, so today we're going to be shooting three different dress trends with Chicwish. These items came last night. I'm going to be putting them in a haul. There was like six items, but um, for the sake of doing a separate video like here's just a little glimpse at them i'm going to be shooting in three of them including the one i have on right now and then i'm taking four basic outfit ideas a lot of you guys said you needed help styling basics so i'm going to be shooting those four um basics three dresses and then i have a new mantra band that came yesterday that i will show you guys i need to take a, like a campaign photo in it it's super quick like nothing crazy especially because i do wear my mantra band every day like as it is um okay i need to put this down so we're gonna knock these pictures out we are planning on taking pictures on thursday too and typically we wouldn't shoot that much like but like I said, we are trying to get a week or two ahead of the game. So that's the plan. This is my new mantra band. It came yesterday. They are celebrating, I think it's their ninth anniversary. I'm not 100% sure. Don't quote me on that. But um, they sent me a bracelet to like promote their anniversary. And the new one I got is Live Inspired. I get asked a lot of questions about my everyday daily jewelry. And I always have a mantra band on, whether it be a small cuff like this one or like the kind of cuff that sits um, higher up on your arm. I have one of those too from a campaign I did with them back in February. Um, so now I have two bracelets. My other one says Dream, Believe, Achieve. This one says Live Inspired. I love just having like a little mantra always on your wrist and I don't know I love how easy they are to stack and stuff so I'm gonna need to take a photo in this while we are out today so I'm putting that in my bag it is time for me to pack up those looks I'm gonna pack them in my hunter duffel bag if you guys want to see the how I plan outfits slash pack process I will leave the video linked down below I also need to start filming some Shein videos I was trying to plan out some going out outfits going to class first day of school outfits there's a lot going on in this room right now so anyways yeah I'm just going to pack up the stuff hey guys and welcome back to Sabam Jen's today we're out taking pictures in town by Suze wait should I say that you can say it question mark I don't know um, we're, in town. we're in town so Mackenzie's in the back changing. I'm not gonna show you her, but here I am looking fabulous today as usual. Tell me about your lunch. Today I went to Panera for lunch. And I had mac and cheese and an apple because I was trying to be healthy. Oh, no, why wouldn't you get bread? Because because mom would want me to have an apple. Comment below, do you call it Panera or Breadco? Olivia would want or me to bread ask co. you. In St. Louis it's called Breadco. And Olivia always makes uh, always makes me ask my viewers. Okay, that's the weirdest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> okay, guys, here's what I'm wearing. Whoa. Today, for this outfit, Mackenzie is wearing this I've... lovely tie-dye number. This is from a girl named Kellen. She is selling these. I'll try to link her below. Um, I'm like doing her a little favor and putting these on. Putting this just in a quick little Instagram post. So um, typically yes. I keep my accessories in this like center part of the car. That's like where I right, take them like on and here. off. But then she leaves them and it's really annoying. I know. And then all of the clothes that I've already shot are on the ground in a pile. And we just discovered that our seats go back much further, which is giving me a lot of extra Guys, room. We can take a great nap back there. So yeah. Also, it's getting kind of sunny because of cloud. All it's right. Going away. But we're gonna take them on like this blue wall right there. Because um, it matches the set. Because it's gonna match. And now but. I'm sweating my booty cheeks off because it's 88 degrees outside, so see you guys. Okay, everyone, we are home from taking pictures. It is 
5.13 now. It took us about one hour exactly to shoot eight different outfits, which was pretty good timing. We are home now. Madison and I just filmed our outfit of the day clip together. And now I actually need to do the things that I said I was going to do today. Um, I haven't actually gotten anything that I said I was going to get done this morning. Um, and typically I wouldn't be too concerned about it. However, my mom reminded me that our power is going to be out tomorrow and they're like doing maintenance in the neighborhood. So we're not gonna have power from nine o'clock in the morning till three o'clock at night. So I need to like get this video and this blog post written and like processed and stuff because I can't do it tomorrow. So it's kind of nice because I'll get to do other things tomorrow, maybe film a little bit, um, hang out with Connor, like something else, you know, kind of fun but I need to edit the video. So I am going to edit the Boohoo video now. It shouldn't take too long. There's not that many edits that need to be made to it. Um, and that way it can process to YouTube while we eat dinner. So time to right, get working. guys, I ate dinner. I ate really unhealthy tonight. Buffalo mac and cheese and french fries. And it's 10 o'clock now. I just spent um, 7.30 to 10 talking to my two roommates for next year, Griffith and Emily. Kind of talking about what we need for our apartment, what our plan is, what we need to grab, um, what we already have. All that jazz that goes into like moving, which kind of stinks. Moving is so frustrating and it makes me so anxious but who knows I am about to hop in the shower and then I really need to as much as I don't want to write a blog post at this hour I really need to go ahead and get working on this video get all that stuff finished up because it does need to go live tomorrow and I want to wake up at eight o'clock because our power is supposed to go off at nine good morning everyone it is a Wednesday morning and it is 9 47 I woke up about one hour ago and I finished most of my blog post yesterday I just needed to edit it add the photos add a few tags so I woke up and did that before the power went off and this is like scheduled to go live at noon and so is my youtube video here is a little sneak peek four ways to wear loungewear to class madison and i shot these photos last week and i just shared a biker shorts look cute pair of colored joggers a fun way to wear sweat shorts and then I just have another pair of sweats as well. So I just rounded that blog post up. Like I said, the video is going live at noon, so it's not showing up yet. Um, and then I linked everything below, shared a little coupon code, and yeah. So I got all that done, and I sent a couple of emails this morning, and then I got ready. I'm just wearing a dress and some earrings. Nothing crazy today. Um, I just was in the mood to wear a dress because I did not want to wear shorts because our power is supposed to be out until... 3 30 they said and we don't have ac in the house because the power's out so it's really hot so i figured a strapless little mini dress was perfect for today i don't really know what i am going to be doing yet because we obviously don't have power so i can't really use my computer um i can use my phone on data but like i don't have unlimited data so i kind of just can't like be on it all day or use a hot spot so I don't know. I think I am going to edit a video right now. It's not bright enough in my room to film a video. Like filming would be great to do right now, but it's not exactly bright enough. So I think I am going to try to edit a favorite swimsuit video I filmed earlier this week and I will get back to you. My video has been edited and now I am downstairs. I told you guys yesterday that I bought some frames for these prints and I'm going to just sit down and start framing them. Um, I got a bunch of eight and a half by 11s but the size print that they gave me is like an eight and a half by 12 so I have to cut down um, like each print just a little bit i just did the pink one um i just have our paper cutter here and i'm about to do that and then i have a bunch of five by sevens i still need to get 16 by 20s and then i need to find really really large frames for these two prints i got a really big cow and then i got a really big um like woman in a dress these are gonna be a part of like two separate gallery walls but i figured i would just sit down and do this now okay so everything has been framed um i have like three different gallery walls in mind so this first one i want to do is like colorful i got a little sunflower that one says everything is fine when there's sunshine i have a hello sunshine this one i kind of messed up on i cut it a little too short so it looks kind of funny but i'm hoping from far away you can't really notice okay 
Okay, and then I have these three, Choose Happy, the Dandelion, and then a little flower. And that's going to go with this cow and then the little, the bigger cow. And then I have these three little ones that I think are going to look really cute with some of these. Um for a black and white gallery wall that will probably be what hangs in my bedroom at school similar to what i had this past year i'll show you guys the other prints so i showed you the two large ones and then i have to pick up six frames for these ones as well um i got some fashion books and that's gonna go with the prints i just showed you so then i have these two and they're gonna go with the colorful wall this one with the little sand and the girl wearing the blue dress and then this one of Italy is going to go on the color wall too. And then this one I think is going to go with the cows. It's just a bunch of dunes. I might put it with the color wall. I'm not 100% sure yet, but we'll see. And then I grabbed these two prints intending for them to be in our kitchen. However, I'm not 100% sure if that's where they're going to end up going. They're like two side-by-side -side girls, so... We will see. As I'm sitting here, I'm realizing I don't really have a lot of larger prints for my bedroom. So we'll see if I end up doing um, two separate black and white walls or if I'll find a way to mix them all together. I know that the cows don't really go with like the lips and the perfume and stuff, but I figured that they would all look kind of good together in the sense that like it's all me like it's my personality last year i had like beach prints mixed with like perfume bottles lips and stuff so we'll see what i end up doing i also have a big kent ohio map you guys always ask about the map that's hanging in my bedroom and that one is my hometown here and i have a kent ohio version too and i'm gonna bring that one with me so I'll have that hanging up too. Alright guys, just finished up wrapping up a huge try-on portion to a Shein back to school haul. I've got all the stuff out um, and I'm in the last item, which was this really cute blue biker short set. I definitely don't have it on with the right underwear right now, but I think it's so cute, so flattering, and I love the color. Um, but anyways, I do not think I'm going to film the sit-down portion of this video just yet, but I'm really glad I knocked out the try-on portion our power came back on as far as like lights electricity goes but we don't have internet yet so i am going to plan out some outfits for tomorrow's photo shoot and i am headed downstairs connor and i are about to head to chick-fil-a it is 2 50 and yeah hello friends today i'm eating more chick-fil-a and i got a kid's meal again today but i just got nuggets and french fries no mac and cheese say connor tell them what Tell them what you got. Show them what you got. Unbox it. It's not showing your face, don't worry. I'm kind of got this part out too. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to. Tell them what you got. All right, guys, just walked in the door from lunch with Connor. We went like super late. More like a liner. Um, had Chick Fil A, played a little Yahtzee, and as soon as I walked in the door, his little brother Chase called me and was like, "Hey Mackenzie, let's go to the baseball game tonight. You should drive us." So now I it's 5:23 and I'm going to leave in about 20 minutes to go pick Chase up, and we're gonna head um, to Mount Area for a baseball game that his dad is coaching. So I guess in the next 15 minutes, I'm going to do whatever the heck I needed to do today. So I planned out five outfits. Those are packed. I still want to shoot at least five more outfits tomorrow, but um, I'm not going to plan those right now just because I have to go and pick up chairs. Hey, everyone. We're at baseball. We're sitting on the ground. We should have brought chairs. It's about 8 o'clock, I think. I don't have a watch. It's 1957, according to Chase's phone. <laughs> and um, I don't really know these people but they're Chase's like best friends so it's been kind of boring so far but what inning is it? Top of six. Yeah top six. What's the score? Seven eight three. Eight three. Wow like we've that. got a lot of points recently. Runs. Runs. I always say points even though I know a lot about baseball guys I just like to call it a point. That was a really bad strike I just got. <laughs> <laughs> Me. Comment below guys which sunglasses you like best on Chase. This pair, mm. this is pair number one, okay. This is pair number two coming up. 
Okay. This is pair number three. Appreciate it. <laughs> How you doing? Choo -choo. Good. How are you? How are you? Be too, too to me. That's it. Perfect. So which one do you like best, Chase? I can't really tell. I like these ones best. Well, but Connor, the but Connor likes these ones best. I'm gonna keep these I'll ones on, these. even though none of them match. Comment below which ones you like best on Chase. Home run. Alrighty, hello party people. I am home. We ended up winning that baseball game. They only played six innings. Like I said, um, those were like Chase's friends, not really any of the boys that used to be on my baseball team. So um, I just went basically to take Chase. Nothing crazy. The light in my room right now. Wow. Um, but anyways, it is, I don't even know what time it because our power is back on, but the internet is still not working. And I just got home and my parents said that it's probably going to be down until Friday, which really stinks because... Well, it's a good thing because tomorrow's Thursday and I don't um, get a blog post or YouTube video up on Thursdays, but um, I kind of need to figure out what to do if it doesn't come on until late Friday. Good morning, guys. It is Thursday morning. It's about 9.50 a.m. I have to babysit at 10 and people live like five minutes away, so I am just hanging out for a couple minutes before I have to go. I woke up and curled my hair this morning. Honestly, these are not my favorite curls at all. Um, and I did my makeup. However, I don't have any mascara or fake eyelashes on yet. Um, I just don't have enough time to put fake eyelashes on because I want to use a new pair today. And I was like, you know what, I'll just wait until I get home to apply them so I look kind of funny without mascara on. But um, Madison and I are going to be shooting today and I have some filming to do. So I figured I'd wear fake eyelashes instead. So grabbing my purse, I'm headed downstairs. I'm going to grab like a cliff bar for breakfast and I'm going to be on my way. I'm supposed to be babysitting until 1230. So see you guys whenever. Everyone, I just got home. It is 1.59, 2 o'clock. And I was supposed to babysit until 1230, but she needed me to stay late um so that's fine they're about to go to the beach for a month um so i probably will only see them like one more time before i leave for school anyways so good to see them whatever um now i am home and i'm eating chicken and rice i never vlog when i'm with other people for like obvious reasons i'm not i vlog with other people not people i babysit obviously um but i've got chicken and rice i ate this the other day and i'm about to eat this really fast and then my goal is to film a video pack up looks and head out of here around 4 15 4 30 ish to go take pictures so fingers crossed i can get that all done this vlog has been so uneventful so far i feel like so sorry guys okay i just filmed the sit down portion for the video that i filmed the try on portion for yesterday and then i filmed the try on portion for another shein haul i had two separate ones to film i am actually going to leave you guys home um, while we go take pictures because I need to charge my camera battery. I am hoping to film the sit down portion of the try on portion that I just finished filming when I get home. Um, I'm hoping that the light is still in the right spot and that I can knock that video out. I am in the first of 10 outfits that Madison and I are going to be shooting. This is one of my back to school outfit ideas. I'm just going to take five outfits that like are pretty typical for something I would wear to class. So jeans, a cute tank, and little sandals is pretty typical for me um if you guys come in to the other room you will see that i have packed up all my other looks in here i have nine other looks my sticky bra jewelry all of it's going in this bag today so like i said i just finished up this haul both parts are filmed but i still need to film the sit down portion for this one so that is my goal i'm gonna leave you guys here as i said because i am on like very very low battery so um, yeah, it is about 4, I don't even know what time it is because like none of our clocks are working, 4.15 right now. So I'm going to be very hot because a lot of my outfits are jeans today and it's about 92 degrees outside. So wish me luck. I also put on a new pair of falsies today and I don't really know if I like them. Um, they're, I usually wear Ardell Wispies 105s and today I am wearing the Baby Demi Wispies and they feel really short in the insides. I'm not sure if I like them. They're a little more natural, but...
but okay anyways i have to go bye it is 6 15 and we just got home it took us about an hour and a half hour and 40 minutes to shoot 10 outfits which wasn't too bad um we didn't end up leaving until a little bit later we left at like 4 30 ish so i just brought all of my stuff back upstairs i haven't unpacked yet and i'm still in the last outfit that i took pictures in um i'm not going to change into what i was wearing today yet because it's dinner time so let's go eat we're having Italian poultry sausages today for They're dinner mild. and Italian. cheesy and cheesy potatoes and I don't want no, you guys to think all gras and potatoes excuse yeah, me and we don't want you guys to think that we're a bad family that only eats on paper plates but our dishwasher broke so that's why we're eating on them every day this week sorry guys we are good to the environment i promise it is 7:48, and i figured i would show you some of the outfits and locations from today's photo shoot so i started off in this outfit which i showed you guys and we just went by this little like blue shuttered that's siding actually not shutters what am i saying um this blue sided building and got some pictures there this outfit we kind of struggled with where to take pictures in and this outfit honestly the photos didn't turn out super cute but i will hopefully have a couple that i can make work just a fun graphic tee um then i shot this cute little pair of shorts with a button up top and this is in front of actually like a male um a post office and I tried to grab some walking down the street, but honestly, they never turn out in focus. So then Madison and I headed up to a little, like, it's like a different location in Mount Airy, but it's still in that general vicinity, basically. And I popped on this cute top and shorts. This was a first day of school outfit idea. I know some people like to go a little more cash. So I tried to grab some sitting. Honestly, they look dumb. I haven't looked through any of these pictures yet and we were struggling a lot with this new lens trying to get it to focus but we finally think we got it down after this outfit um this was another first day of school outfit idea just a cute little romper and sandals then we headed over here for a dress and heels i absolutely love this dress and all of these pictures came out super clear thankfully um so we grabbed some of these we try to get all angles and then i usually get a few close-ups but don't be fooled a lot of the pictures end up turning out like that and then we headed over to the bank, which is where we always get really good pictures, like in front of, like the, the lighting is just always really good here. Um, so I grabbed one last, this wasn't my favorite outfit, to be honest, this white skirt. Um, and then I grabbed some in this cute little green top and a pair of jeans and then i stayed in this pair of jeans for the next outfit and i put on a different top and some butterfly earrings i am now realizing that these cars look so bad in the back of this um window so we had turned over here to try and get some in a different location and grabbed some there and then i went back to the window for this last outfit which was that gingham top and white jeans honestly these didn't turn out to be my favorite pictures ever but i am sure that i can find three or four to work for each outfit i typically only save four pictures from each outfit sometimes like five or six um but for blog posts i typically at most will use four outfit four pictures in one same outfit so i will sift through these another day probably next week when these blog posts are going to go live but for now i am going to post my instagram picture for the night it's about 7 45 and i'm headed to connor's at eight o'clock since it's thursday but i want to finish up my work for the night before going. morning guys it is friday i don't think i ever updated you yesterday night um i went to the manions and i went for like an hour long walk with mr and mrs Mannion. And then I played some Yahtzee with Chase, and I just talked with him for a really long time. And I came home pretty early, took a shower, went to bed, and I didn't set an alarm last night, and I slept until 9.30. Slept from like 12.30 to 9.30, and it felt so good. I had such a good sleep, and I like let myself sleep in because our internet, the guy like was coming at 9.30 to fix it, so... It's 10 o'clock now and the internet is finally back on, which means, oh my god, apparently I'm still tired. That means that I can start working on today's blog post and getting today's YouTube video up. I processed today's YouTube video at the Mannions last night because I was worried that we wouldn't have internet, like, still for a few more hours. So, yeah, felt good to sleep in. Today I need to write a blog post, 
get a YouTube video up. Hopefully film a video. I'm not 100% sure though on that yet. Alright everyone, it's 11.40 so I've been here for about an hour and 40 minutes and I got today's YouTube video up. It was scheduled to go up at 11 and obviously it's already gone up. I responded to a bunch of emails because I hadn't responded to any because we didn't have Wi-Fi. And I just started today's blog post which is going to be 16 summer date night outfit ideas. I basically did the skeleton which means I like named the looks and I put outfit details. But like I haven't actually filled those in. I haven't talked about each outfit. I haven't linked any of the items. I haven't written where anything's from. I basically just add the photos and kind of do like the outline. Um, I'm actually going to get out of bed and like get ready for the day and then I'm going to go downstairs and actually write this blog post but feel good having you know like a third of it done right now so yeah I just needed to like warm up I guess you know and it'll hang out in bed for a little bit I was not ready to fully wake up and start my day yet but I'm ready to go now. Um, my face looks so pale right now. All right, change of plans. I totally forgot I promised Chase I would take him golfing today. He was going to play nine holes and I was just gonna go and drive him around in the golf cart, but the weather wasn't looking great, so he decided not to play a game, but he's asked if I would still take him to the range. We're just going to the golf course that Connor works at. It's like 15 minutes up the road um, and we haven't been spending as much time together, so I told him I would do this for him. So I just got changed into some workout clothes. This was actually the outfit in my date night outfits that's going up tonight for golf slash mini golfing. My like cropped longer sports bra is from 90 Degree by Reflex. And then I've got on a little black tennis skirt from TJ Maxx. I don't know the brand of this. It's really old. And then I'm wearing my black um, New Balance sneakers. So I'm about to go pick Chase up. I will just work on this blog post later. I'm not super concerned about it um, and we shouldn't be gone more than an hour and a half two hours so I'm gonna head and pick him up that was good here's Chasey Chase like for hat forwards comment for hat backwards A lot of comments. Chase looks good. It's really, really cloudy out right now, but it's hot and so humid. Perfect. Look at that swing. You guys are looking at the next D1 golf player. Comment below if you want Chase's Snapchat. I said it in a different video and the person deleted their comment. Perfect. I am home from golfing and I put on like an outfit for today and I just got in a bunch of pieces from Princess Polly. I am so excited. I've never collaborated with Princess Polly. This is my first time ordering from them and trying their clothes and I got all going out clothes. I got some skirts, a bunch of bodysuits, a couple pairs of shorts, and a really cute cow print belt. I am so excited to film that haul and I have going out outfits coming soon to the blog as well so that's really exciting. Um, as far as what I'm up to now, it is 2.15, I've got chicken tenders cooking in the oven. Alrighty, it is 4.15 and I just finished up today's blog post. It is 16 summer date night outfit ideas. You guys asked to see mirror pictures for this and honestly I'm really happy with the way this post turned out. If this is something that you guys want to see more of, be sure to let me know. Mirror pictures are definitely a little bit easier for me because obviously I don't have to go out and grab like really posed photos I guess this is a lot easier for me however I do like how professional photos look like when we go out and take them the way I showed you yesterday but just got this up now if someone could take me out so I could wear these cute things I tried to link as many things as possible I also made a little Pinterest um, slide that way you guys could save this post for later it's 4 15 now and I am headed upstairs I don't know if it's gonna be like sunny enough to film because it's really late 
late, but we will see. Also, my comforter that I ordered from Bed Bath & Beyond earlier this week came today. So here she is. I'm not gonna take it out of the like packaging because I just don't wanna have to refold it, but this is what the comforter looks like. It's white and it's from Laura Ashley. I will add this to my like to know it. That way you guys can shop this if you want. I know it came, I got it in a twin because my bed in the sorority house is a twin, but I know this is available in like a full and like bigger sizes as well. So if you guys want to grab that for yourself, you can. Let's go upstairs. So I was able to film the Shein haul that I needed to film, and then it was really nice in my room, so I went ahead and filmed the Princess Polly try-on portion. I just filmed my outfit of the day clip for tomorrow's video, and now I am headed to go pick up the pizza for dinner. So we just ate pizza, and now I'm back upstairs. I have a final exam for my math class next week and the like review session is starting at 7 and it's 6 59 right now so i am logging on to the zoom thing however the midterm review session took five hours and he like recorded it and posted it so that we could watch it like at our own speed like stop pause like all that jazz so i'm basically like logging on to the zoom and i'm gonna see if he is like i'm making sure that he is going to post it I might stay for like an hour or something, but I really kind of want to go through it like at my own pace, I guess. So we will see what I end up doing. I'm going to plug my camera in either way while I watch this because it is on low battery again. This camera dies so fast, it drives me crazy, but um, I just filmed like two longer videos today, obviously. So time to go plug her in. I'm logging on now to Blackboard. Hello people, it is now the next morning, obviously, and it is already noon. I went to bed, I kid you not, at 10.15 and I woke up at 9.15. Like, I don't know, I feel like I've said it so many times in this video, but like, what is wrong with me that I just keep sleeping and sleeping and sleeping? My schedule is messed up. But anyways, I woke up at 9.15 and I sat in bed and I got a bunch of editing done this morning. I actually started editing the video you're watching now and I edited Sunday through Tuesday. These videos take me so long to edit and it drives me nuts if I don't have if I do it all at once because it will take me like three hours to finish editing it so I got some of that knocked out this morning while I just kind of like took it easy in bed and then I got ready for the day my hair is on third day hair she's not looking so cute but I did my makeup and I decided to go live on Instagram while I got ready and kind of just chat with you guys I typically go live on Fridays and I didn't go live last night because I was doing that math like zoom call so i decided to do it this morning and i talked a little bit about the shein controversy moving into school answered some other questions all that jazz so yeah that's what i ended up doing and it is now 12. i just filmed my outfit of the day clip now i usually film it around like three or four in the afternoon but i want to get my outfits of the week up today because i do have a week in my life vlog going up tomorrow so i just did that i'm about to head downstairs and finish editing this video and get it published um i don't know later today i'm going to be doing some shopping for my apartment slash room for next year um i need to get some picture frames we are going to head to tj maxx slash home goods and hopefully i will find some pillows other stuff like that so that is what the plan is today nothing super crazy um and i also need to film a romwe accessory haul at some point but i mainly just want to get some editing done kind of get on top of things nothing too crazy is going to be going on and i do need to get a blog post up i don't know why that hasn't crossed my mind yet but yeah my computer sounds like it's about to blow up because it's processing a video and i'm eating a chicken wrap um chicken cheese and ranch i've eaten so terribly this weekend sorry or this whole week not even this weekend this whole week um i know i told you guys i was gonna be better about showing you what i've eaten but it's been nothing healthy sorry guys Alrighty, just got up today's youtube video eight summer outfit ideas it was my outfits of the week just went live i've got everything linked so that you guys can shop only 22 views, but it literally just went up like five minutes ago. So go give it a watch if you haven't already. So I got a very large rum we ordered the other day. I am doing like an all accessories haul from them. And my dad is free, so he's going to help me convert all of these into clip-ons. If you guys want to know how I convert my earrings into clip-ons, you can go um, watch my video. I'll leave it linked below. I have a separate video for it. So these are the pairs that he has to help with. And then these are all the pairs that I have to do on my own. So I'm going to give 
this stuff to him and he's going to get to work because I want to film this haul later today. All right, well, I'm super bummed. I realized I didn't have enough clip-on earring backs to finish doing the fish hook ones for fish hook earrings. They're really easy. I can just do them by myself. My dad is outside doing the other kind of earrings, but I am one, two, three, four, five, six pairs of clip-ons short. I need to run to the store and grab more clip-on backs. I probably won't do it right now, um, maybe later today, um, but I was able to get all of these pairs converted. I'm just waiting for my dad to come back in so I can e six thousand glue the other pairs basically like pairs like this um he's going to help me finish because if you guys this is like i don't want to like make this whole video explanatory on the clip-on process because i have a whole separate video for it but this is what a clip-on earring back looks like and you need this little like gold hook right here in order to convert fish hook earrings into clip-ons but if you want to like convert a pair of earrings like this into clip-ons you have to shave off that little thing that sharp thing and then you glue them together so he's outside doing that so that i can convert these okay just got today's blog post up i am sharing my favorite gymshark dupe leggings these are activewear sets from Shein, and I have this specific one in a few different colors now, and it's one of my favorites. I've worn it hiking, I've worn it golfing, I've worn it just lounging around, and I wanted to share the set on my blog before it sells out because their activewear usually sells out pretty quickly. So just finished this up. It is about 3.30, and I just brought my computer upstairs because it is on 6%. My mom, I'm like out of breath from walking up the stairs holy cow um but i just brought my computer upstairs i'm gonna let it charge while we are gone my mom and i and madison are gonna run to walmart and then tj maxx oh would you believe that nope okay everyone nothing fancy here today at home goods yeah, honestly, just dishes you, should, you need a cutting board but we can get that at um just dishes and pans for my kitchen. Look at that oh, at Ikea. We're done shopping. We didn't get a whole lot, but I'll show you what we did get when we get home. We are now at the Hornet's Nest in our usual spot. Say hey, Dad. You haven't been on the vlog this week. Hello, vlog. How are you? How do you feel knowing you now have 17.5 thousand pans? Ooh, that's a lot of pans. Yeah. What? A lot of pressure. A lot of pressure. Today, we are continuing our very healthy eating week in my life, like I told you about. Um, we're having a soft pretzel, jumbo pretzel with cheese. Jumbo soft pretzel. Mm. And crab dip on top. And it's going to be so good. This is one of the best things here. Mm. Okay, dinner time. I got my first grilled chicken and avocado ranch sandwich um, this year, I think. Madison? Hey, guys. I'm back with another chicken sandwich. This is Madison's last dying meal. Dad got French dip. Mom got her usual. No, I didn't. Yes, you got this last week. I didn't get this oh, last week. It's this not her not usual. My usual. They don't have a usual. Her buffalo chicken wrap. They don't have a usual, but Dad's French dip is pretty usual. Pretty usual. All right, guys, we are home from dinner now. It is 7.30. I would rate my meal an 8 out of 10. Jumbo pretzel was a 10 out of 10, but... I don't know, my sandwich just wasn't what I was in the mood for in the end, but it was still good. Um, we're home now. I just finished converting some clip-on earrings. I still need to grab more backs. I'm going to hopefully do that tomorrow. But I am going to sit down and edit the rest of the video that you guys are watching now. I have a busy day ahead of me tomorrow. We are headed to Ikea, and I need to just pick up some stuff for my apartment. I need to kind of like figure out what I need for my apartment, what I already have at home from my dorm room um and all that jazz i know i told you guys that i would show you what we got at home goods and at walmart we honestly just got like toilet paper and we got like that kind of stuff for our apartments like i got um some deodorant i got toilet paper i got a thermometer because everyone has to have a thermometer at school and I got like one other thing, I can't even remember. It was like a beauty product that I needed to stock up on and household items that we need to bring. Uh, Clorox wipes, I got Clorox wipes because I need those as well. And then at 
home goods i just got that pan that i showed you guys and i got a whisk and a can opener nothing super exciting um but i am not gonna show you guys because i don't want to get up and i showed you guys like a little clip of it and because i'm gonna film a whole separate video on like things i've gotten for my apartment like an apartment haul so be on the lookout for that I am actually going to end the vlog off here because it's 7.30 and I am honestly just going to spend the rest of the evening editing the video that you guys are watching right now. I know that it's going to take me a while to sift through this, the rest of this footage. So I'm just going to be editing this and editing a Shein haul that's going to go up next week. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this week in my life. I do not think I will be filming a week in my life next week just because I will be doing some traveling towards the end of it. So I probably won't be able to get a long video up um, when I'm not on stable Wi-Fi so be on the lookout for maybe an unedited day in the life a couple days in my life traveling vlog all that jazz so hope you guys enjoyed and I will talk to you soon bye guys <laughs>